All right, in this video, we are going to take a look at five cool tips and tricks for Samsung's My Files application. Without wasting any time, let's begin. I will open My Files application, internal storage. Let's go to DCIM and I'll open expert raw. There are some images over here. Now what I'll do is I will press and hold on this particular image and I'll try to move this image around. Nothing happens here. Now what I'll do is I'll just bring this towards the right or the left hand side corner. As you can see, we have got a split screen view option over here. This is amazing. Now we can drop this file towards the upper half of the screen or towards the lower half of the screen to open this image in split screen view. Let me show you this again. I'll press and hold on this image. When I move this image towards the extreme top or extreme bottom or even at the center when I move this around, nothing happens. I will have to move it towards the extreme right or extreme left to see this window pop up to open this image in the split screen view or on pop up view. Let me know how many of you guys know this trick already. That's an awesome first trick for you guys. Let's move on to the second one. This is about creating a shortcut for a video or any file from the file application and add it to the home screen. Let me show you how we can do that. Let's select this particular image here. I'll press and hold on this. It's selected. I'll tap on more option at the bottom right corner. Here we have got an option add to home screen. When I tap on this, a window pops up. It says add to home screen. I will just tap on add. And now when we go to the home screen, we have got that image right here. When I tap on this, you can see I can open this in a gallery application. Even though this is a shortcut through the files application, we can tap on this image to open it in gallery. We can create the shortcuts from the gallery as well. Next one is a tip to use 7-zip for compression. Now while sharing a larger file or a folder, it's always better to compress it and share it with others. We can easily do that. We can easily compress the files or folders inside the files application. But the tip here is using 7-zip option to compress a file. Let me explain that for you. Let's open my files. I'll tap on internal storage. Let's select one of the folders here to compress. I'll press and hold on it to select it. Now I'll tap on more. Here we have an option to compress this folder. I'll tap on compress. Now on the right side, you see we have got zip option. We can tap on this to select another option that is 7-zip. Apparently 7-zip is the latest compression format which is likely to offer better compression ratio. However, it seems this is not a widely supported file format. But to efficiently zip the file or folder, this is a better option. That is something to note here. Next step is protecting the zip file using a password. As you can see here, on the same window, we get an option here to check and select it, protect with password. When I tap on this, we will be able to add a password for this particular compressed folder. When you share this password protected zip file to others, they will have to use the password to open that file. That is again a great useful feature to protect your privacy. Now let me share the last tip. Let's go back to the internal storage. I will open DCIM folder here. Now here I'll press and hold on one of the folders. Tap on more, tap on details. Here we will be able to see the total size of this particular folder inside DCIM. The reason I'm sharing this is if at all you want to see the size of a particular album inside the gallery application, we will not be able to know that over there. The only way to know the size of that particular album is by opening the files application, open DCIM folder. Inside the folder, you will have all these albums that you have created. Press and hold on it tap on more and tap on details. Here we will be able to see the size of that particular album or folder inside the files application. That is the last tip I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you liked all of them. I'm not sure how many of you guys were already aware of these tips or tricks. Do let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. And if you want to add any new tips or tricks, do share it in the comment section. That will help the community. Now, if you find this video informational and useful, be sure to smash that like button. And I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and help grow this tech community. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.